Well, hello again. Uh, this is uh, a new uh, getting personal, and uh, the getting personal is now me sitting and uh, talking to you and uh, rambling on. Well, maybe it's not rambling, it's uh, some sort of organized rambling. I'm no um, kind of like professional, we're doing this stuff, and uh, do not claim or want to be. I just want to get some things out there in the world where it would essentially help and uh, it could entertain, you might find this funny and uh, whatever else. Um, today's getting personal is self-esteem. What is self-esteem? Well, self-esteem is essentially the belief in yourself to have a good view of yourself, um, to believe uh, perhaps you can do things, you can achieve things and uh, all that stuff and uh, something that um, is always challenging to keep and some things in life can uh, knock you down and uh, put your self-esteem and uh, you should always realize uh, do not um, do not fall into a low self-esteem where you think you can't pick yourself up from it um, and I, I, I want to say from my personal experience for I would say perhaps there's lots of aspects in my life where I let my self-esteem drop and um, for too long and not to, uh, not to pick it up like I should and I wanted to make a video realizing that um, I I kind of had a uh, and I like a, a thought and something that went over in my head today that um, where I didn't let my self-esteem a low self-esteem on myself kind of like this or that happened, like hold me back and um, essentially I want to tell a story of um, how when I when I hurt my back um, it was kind of really kind of really sucked. I was at the gym, I was doing the leg press and I um, popped two discs and kind of my like well I would say my self-esteem was pretty pretty bad. I um, when I when I did it, uh, I was like, "Damn, I've man, I really screwed up." Um, because you popped two discs. It's not like hurting your back. Hurting your back is like getting a back spasm, and like your back locks up. But you've you've popped like psh, psh, they popped out of you, and you have to like, "God damn it!" You really got to contemplate what you've done. Um, and I could have let you know myself kind of like fall into just like, well, why did I do this? Why did I do that? And just have a bad view of myself. Um, your, your perception of yourself is everything and you know, your self-esteem is everything and that's really very much tied to it. And I, um, so when I got home, I just kind of like rested and it was kind of okay, but it's when I really rested, it's when I went to sleep and then I essentially woke up again and Boy oh boy, it was hard to get out of bed. Uh, I couldn't get out of bed. I was kind of, like it took me two and a half hours just to stand up, right? Could you imagine that? Like your normal thing, right? It's like as if you've um, been glued into the bed and you're trying to get out because you're in an immense amount of pain. Um, so you think, well, I just got to stay here until it gets better. And generally, kind of, that's like what people do. They just kind of like get a bit, you know, lazy. They let their, their kind of, their self fall away from themselves. And I was just like, I am not getting stuck in bed. I am not getting stuck. I will not get stuck. I will even go to the gym with a sore back because I know that's how I would recover um, because getting up and moving again, it's fundamentally, that's what you do. The, the the more you sit down and you relax and just think, oh man, this is sucks and it sucks, and you run through it and go through it over and over, you'll get stuck. And I, it was excruciating. I had to devise all these techniques and all these ways to get out of bed. And every day was like a, a little bit of a new thing because it would happen again and again. Because um, then I would actually re hurt my back going back to the gym and trying to reincorporate a um, understanding of what I can do and what I can't do. I couldn't even pick up a dumbbell and move it to the bench without an excruciating amount of pain. And I, I would say that you got to do it. You got to go and push through that little bit of resistance. And well, I wouldn't even say it's a little bit of resistance, a lot of resistance. Um, 
your body's like, don't do it, don't do it, but you got to do it and you do it and um, you, you get through on the other side, but you learn how to, um, you learn how to not let it happen again and uh, yeah, you could say maybe your spine is compromised now, but your spine would have been compromised no matter what because you would have eventually, you would have done it some, somewhere different um, in some other different thing, you would have, something would have happened. So what I, what I learned from that and how it does reflect on your self-esteem is that uh, don't, don't let it fall because then you won't figure out how to, how to fix it. Um, I know people who have just not fixed their back. I've talked to two people now who have not fixed their back and they're worse off from it. They kind of just wallowed in that kind of like, eh, you know, like, I'll just take a break, whatever, like, um, I don't know what to do. Instead of trying to find solutions and pushing through, pushing through that, that pain, that painful of that real immense pain, that feeling of crap and all that stuff. And that's, that's not what I, I didn't just stop. I found ways why to hit my back, what was this and that. and. I came out of it, yeah, I could say I came out of it worse, but it's not really worse because I would say it would happen years of later. Like imagine it happening at 60, hurting your back or something like that. You have to recover at 60, stuff that, right? Um, and you could say all medical stuff would be uh, really good by then, but you don't know, it might not be. So um, you fundamentally it's probably best to figure out so with my back i knew i had a weak core and i had to strengthen my core and that would uh help my core and that's the, that's the reason why it kind of fundamentally happened is because my core and uh, amongst other things maybe stress contributed to it but i doubt it was more majority of my core not being strong enough to hold myself and putting myself in also compromised lifting positions so that's a that's another thing and um realizing that learning those things would now would make a better track record well moving forward and it, it's fundamentally the only thing that really got me out of it is because I had a high self-esteem of myself I knew that I could recover from this I knew it I knew I knew I knew deep down and this is where that this is kind of like story time kind of ties into the topic of today and I didn't I didn't want to like kind of wash myself with a low self-esteem and just get stuck because you could get stuck you can easily get stuck you could just give up you'd be like nah my back's done I'm not going to do this um, I'm not going to try anymore or like go to the gym and that's like fundamentally something that you need to keep doing is keeping fit and so I knew that I knew that I couldn't couldn't just give up and View, view myself as like this sucks and I just recovered and that's how you do it is just have that self-esteem let it build slowly don't go too cocky into it because you could go to the gym and start lifting again and that's not a good thing you need to fundamentally figure out what what caused it and why it was caused and um, I knew and very until recently now I still didn't kind of listen to what it was, uh, I had numerous, maybe maybe two people over the last couple of years tell me that, oh, it's a core issue, it's a core issue. And only recently I really tried, my back was majority fine because I started changing the way I sat and all that, the way I was um, maneuvering myself in the gym. Until recently I started doing core exercises and strengthened it. So it does take you a while to realize, you know, just what, what it is, you know, fundamentally, and years and years later, you'll figure it out um, because it takes a while. Look, sometimes it takes a while for people to listen. To, and so now my self-esteem is like higher because I can, you know, I, I would be able to think, well, maybe I can do certain lifts again that I wouldn't be able to do before because I know it would push my, make me more compromised. So guys, just don't give up on yourself. Let, let, keep going with your self-esteem and don't, um, don't, don't, you know, I could have got stuck in bed. I could have not got up and motivated myself. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. You've like, you've lost the, like a, a fundamental thing that keeps you going is your back. And it really takes a, it really takes some, 
it takes the toll on your self-esteem trust me like at the time i was just like i was so pissed off because i was like oh great like i can't can't sit i can't like even walk right and it's like what can't walk gotta just stay here and it's crazy to think that you, you get taken down so easily but if you pursue 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 and push yourself forward um i think within uh like two months i was pretty good again two months that's crazy right i was pretty good i was good not fantastic but i was good i was good enough to be able to get my my mood back up and start yeah you know, oh, i can do that but be careful right um so that, that's about it uh and uh, yeah, just don't let your self esteem get, low self esteem get to you. Um, anything that's happening in your life right now, and it's kind of like you feel like um, life's kicking you down and you want to wallow in your, your like low self esteem and view of yourself and not really kind of like viewing yourself as a, maybe someone who could have um, a nice, a nicer view of yourself. Um, and fundamentally, they say what builds self-esteem is, is being proactive on things, realizing things, being emotionally intelligent too. And that would be a very hard thing to get is to be emotionally intelligent because you've got to go through things for that. And so, but fundamentally, it's, it's a, it's a tri I always find it a tricky topic to discuss is self-esteem because it's like you can sit and you could read about self-esteem and yeah, I understand it, but it's not until you go through it and maybe perhaps I mentioned a story that could tie into it. I think it's hard to really realize what 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 it is and self-esteem is tied into a lot of different other 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 topics, but I I for me anyway, I view it as that. Like if I if I thought like maybe I didn't go to the gym and I hurt my back anyway, then I would have never like, I, I don't imagine I would have ever fixed my back. I would have never figured anything out. Cause my, well, my self esteem for the gym was, was, it's here. And so it's high, it was never low. So, but yeah, it's a, it's a bit of rambling and um, I hope you guys get something from it. And you guys can like and subscribe. I, I wanna maybe do a video about, you know, how to, protect your back and do all that stuff. So until next time, guys, take care.